Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Dr. Vikas Singh Vadoria and today onwards I am starting a new video series on the subject introduction to smart grid. This subject is in final year of AKTU. In uh, final year, this subject is being taught as an elective subject in electrical and electronics engineering branch and electrical engineering branch and other branch students are studying this subject as an open elective so let us start on uh, the second unit of this subject and this is the first topic of second unit introduction to smart meter so as an introduction of a smart meter we can say that these smart meters are the very important constituent of a smart grid and it is expected to provide cost effective social and ecological advantage of for various stakeholders means uh, the objectives of installing a smart meters in a smart grid is to provide the cost effectiveness and this cost effectiveness is being uh, considered for all stakeholders of the smart grid and the significant key factor which determines the success of any smart meter that is the data analysis whenever we are saying data analysis so that will include data acquisition then communicating that data and then after that analyzing or processing that data and this data analysis process this process is beneficial to all stakeholders or we can say that for consumers utility company company and government this data analysis is beneficial for all and another important feature related to smart grid is that uh, so the smart grid is that that whenever we are installing a smart meter so it creates the bi-directional flow of information or we can say that a smart meter is the main component which creates the bi-directional flow of information or uh, with the help of a smart meter utility and consumer both can communicate with each other this is possible with the advanced metering infrastructure by using that ami both our utility and uh, consumers are able to communicate with each other then after that that information about electrical consumption of a consumer which is being collected by the smart meter that is recorded in a timely manner and then the data is aggregated and analyzed by smart meter so a smart meter is recording that data then storing and then analyzing then analyzed data is communicated to utility through that advanced metering infrastructure and the part of AMI are HEN home area network, NAN neighborhood area network and wide area network. So by combining HEN, NAN and WEN we can say that these uh, form advanced metering infrastructure but still data collection point is the smart meter and another feature of AMI that AMI it not only communicates the smart meter data to utilities but also transmits information to consumers from utilities and the information which is being transferred from the utilities to consumer is that uh, peak demand cost of energy consumption and whenever these information are being transferred or whenever these this data is informed to the consumers in a timely manner means in a advanced manner then consumers can shift their demand from peak load to the low load duration so a smart grid using a smart metering and ami technologies establishes the wide area monitoring and protection and control these are the main, uh, main features the protection control and monitoring whenever we are considering the traditional electric meter, electrical meters then these meters are installed in the consumer premises these meters are uh, either electromechanical or electronic meters after that data is being collected in a manual way 
after that the billing process is also manual the data which is being collected for the manual billing that is the frequency of collection of that data is either monthly or bi monthly so in all traditional meters uh, those meters are being installed at the consumer premises manual process is involved in which data is collected in a, a monthly basis or bi monthly basis since the process is manual so there are chances of error and hence uh, the smart meters are being now used or uh, smart meters are now replacing the manual meters or uh, sorry electro mechanical meters or simple energy meters so these smart meters are the future of power industry and these serves as an interface between consumer and utility as we have already discussed that with the help of a smart meter or ami infrastructure utility and consumers can interact with each other or they can send information from uh, they can exchange information between each other the smart meters record the power uses of consumer and then communicate this data then another point the main point is timely manner data although the the power consumption or power uses data is also being collected with the normal meters or normal energy meters but that data is not being communicated to the utility companies in a timely manner so this is the another important feature of a smart meter that data is being collected analyzed and it is being communicated to the utility in a timely manner so for a smart meter it is very essential to collect precise and appropriate data in a timely manner so there are three features the data should be precise and exact data means whatever data you want to collect that appropriate data should be collected and that data should be collected in a timely manner so there are three features then after that that precise and appropriate data uh, that collected that that is being collected with the help of smart meters that will be communicated and stored in these smart meters then systematic analysis from the data acquired will lead to many prospective decisions these decisions may be taken by the utility or the consumers and whenever these decisions are taken the, in a positive way then this may increase the efficiency and reliability of smart grid this is in terms of uh, utility centers and if consumers are taking decision or they are shifting their load in the low load period or low demand period then obviously they are reducing their bills also so this allows the utility center for better monitoring and control data communication in real time basis allows the utility with advantages like real time pricing because the data is transmitted in a real time basis so real time pricing can be implemented then identification of power thefts avoid meter data tampering and obviously service quality is being improved with the help of these smart meters then smart meter architecture these meters are installed in a consumer in consumer premises the smart meter then since data transfer is there so their data will be transferred with the help of some communication protocols then meter data management system and utility centers and focus in the interconnection points of these all blocks that all arrows are bidirectional means bidirectional flow of information is there whenever a smart meter are being installed systematic uh, this the data communication in real time basis allows the utility they can implement real time prices outage detection can be done power theft can be identified and so with the data received in a timely manner utilities are having an edge that they can provide better and increased stability of the 
ग्रेड एंड दे कैन प्रोवाइड बेटर क्वालिटी ऑफ सर्विस टू देयर कंज्यूमर्स देन स्मार्ट मीटर कैन आल्सो कट द डोमेस्टिक एंड कमर्शियल एनर्जी कंजम्पशन this i have already mentioned that whenever consumer are having information that in this duration power demand is high so charges are being high so they can shift their uses into low demand period or in low charges period so this by using this facility they can reduce their energy consumption and whenever we are installing a smart meters in any home so zigbee or wifi technology will be helpful for that and for this purpose several sensors are required and these sensors will be installed in the appliances which are being used in that automatic or home energy management system or in smart buildings or in smart room or in smart house and these sensors are installed to manage the connection of electrical load remotely based on the consumer's choice or utility decision important functions of a smart meter are uh, direct data collection then communication then analysis of data and this will help in decision making and if we will discuss in more detail then they can measure the power quality then real time communication of power uses that remote programming is also possible demand based tariff can be implemented service switching this uh, these smart meters also supports the distributed generation installation time of use pricing can be implemented remote controlling is possible with the help of these smart meters and these are the references from which this complete video content is prepared thanks for watching and for more videos like this stay connected with the channel and for stay connected you need to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon thank you